Hey guys, it's not even John here again with more Backyard Baseball 2001, but it's not going to be your normal, typical video actually. It's a special video that I've been talking about all season long that I'd do after the, I completed the season. And it's something I never attempted before. It's basically modding your own custom player and your home field to be whatever it is you want, including the playoff and other fields that are in the game basically just the playoff field and uh which is big city stadium and the super colossal dome or whatever it's called it so first off we're gonna start a new coach name it uh mods it's not really like i'm installing mods but i'm just changing the files in the game doesn't matter which field you select or any of these settings do whatever you want like whatever team you want that also doesn't matter mighty melon heads that sounds great so it doesn't even matter even typing your name doesn't matter because you're going to be able to change it to whatever you want there's a limit of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 characters usually but there won't be that much of a limit anymore. But you do want to select your nickname. And just might as well get this stuff done. You can change it in the files, but I might as well get it done because that's pointless. Don't You don't really have to add anything to batting or running. But I like to add stuff to pitching and fielding because I haven't figured out how to uh, get this perfect and running. Select the skin you want. Let's call our guy Boom Boom because he's going to be hitting balls out of the park constantly. Alright. If you pick me. Cool. And just select your team that you really want. I'm really not going to pick Kurt Schilling this time. Because he was a real ah. letdown. I might as well have Randy Johnson on my team at that point. I Got three more plays still to select. There's Randy Johnson. There's Derek Jeter. Hi there. That's cool. And Barry Bonds was a disappointment too. Hey even though he had the speed. Mark McQuire, I remember hitting more home runs even though he's slow All as right. heck. Alright. So at this point, you're going to want to exit out of the game actually. And then go to your backyard baseball file, which I found under my C drive under HE Games. Backyard Baseball 2001. You want to go to your coach. My coach on that one was going to be my eighth coach I've ever made. So it's going to be under the C08 file. And you're going to want to open that in uh, Notepad. By the way, I'm getting this off of Reddit on this post. It will be linked in the description. Thanks to. The Majestic Yeti, and he links to this uh, tutorial how to do it, so that's how I'm going to be following. Start by creating a new season coach. We've already done that. Um, and then this doesn't matter. We're at... We've already found our file. And then we're going to want to use Notepad to edit. So, open this up. Uh, open with more apps notepad there we go so to get the big city stadium you're gonna want to do number four right here I also asked him how to do that in the thread on reddit he said fields go to four for big city stadium for the super colossal dome do number five uh, where are we at Alright, this is the one. Alright. So we're gonna wanna be number five for the super super class though. Alright, let's keep following this tutorial. So open in notepad or notepad notepad plus plus. 
you'll know it's the right coach because where is it under coach right here we'll have your name right here which was mods all right the custom section contains the data from the custom player you created which is at the bottom of the screen right here custom and this is his name right here it's represented in all these letters he has a guide on which ones to select so if you want to pause and read all this, basically you just do that. Oh, it's bouncy. And these are the, the letters right here you're going to have to use in the alphabet. You can even have all these things in your name if you want. I'm going to be naming my player from that random gibberish to not even John. Um, I already done that right here on another file. This is it right here. And I'm just going to replace that with this one. There we go. And you'll see in a bit, it'll be not even shown on there. So if you want to re pause this and read it to fully understand it, there you go. So you want a total of how many letters is it? Total of 30, 42 letters on that line for it to be, uh, be correct and it always has to end in these AAs I believe all right now these are how you can edit the stats of your player if you want to pause and read this this is the complicated part so what we're gonna want to go down to is this backup stat zero and edit all that to make it perfect you want to keep this AA or else it's at the very beginning or else it will uh, crash the game as he'll point out right here and you want a total of 74 letters on that line and these are the pairs of what it represents and the and so pair two would be stamina uh, reaction speed is on pair number five which is all right so pair number one always needs to be AA and to get to speed it would be uh, 10 letters away because it's double letters. So one, two, three, four. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So right here, this AP would be speed. That's what's AP represent on here if we can even find it real quick. AP is just 15, which is really low. The highest you can go to is ZP, but though that doesn't work on everything apparently. And J, but JP is basically the maximum the game that they think JP, which is 159, is the maximum the game lets you go to. So, but you can put ZP; it doesn't really matter. I also got this done on a different file, which is right here to try to get my player match stats. There's one thing you you gotta look out for is like your player skin and stuff. It can crash the game. Also, when looking at your player stats. Um, on the your home season screen or team photo screen it will crash the game so you don't want to do that and here's more what these pairs represent and saving the file in a notepad be sure to save the file as a C dot your your coach's number file which ours was a C07 or C07 make sure it's 07 so Make sure you're not just going to straight to save. You gotta go save as, and you actually gotta type dot c zero whatever your coach's or c whatever your coach's number is. Mine is not zero seven zero eight. Sorry, that was my other coach. That file I was looking at. So it's coach zero c zero eight, and then you click save. It already exists. So click yes to replace it. Exit and. Yeah, that's basically all you have to do. I This was just a quick tutorial. Now I'm gonna show you it in action. All right, so mods right here. So if I was to click my player and then click about more about play, uh, player, it would crash the game for him. But for all my other players, it works fine. Just don't do it on your own custom player. 
we're not gonna be playing at home unfortunately but you can see your home field in the background of your team photo and you can see right here it's the super colossal dome anyway let's start the game have my guy be pitchers yeah I also have him where he has no fatigue as because one of those pairs is or your stamina you can have unlimited stamina so that's good oh why did I pick a pitcher then that's just pointless at that point let's just have him there I guess uh, beaten out filled All right, and we want my guy to go first. Where is he? See, oh yeah, here's my name. Not even John. I told you, like, that's how you can edit it. You saw me just put random letters in earlier. And here's my stats now. You see an 11th ball on running, but for some reason it doesn't show on all the other stats. But so I'm gonna be just as fast as Pete apparently. When you, even if you're at full speed, you won't ever be as fast as Pete. But if you do this mod, you will be. And you'll be, and apparently it's been known that Pablo, even though it shows him as 10 batting and P only has uh, 10 running, they actually have extra stats in their batting and running. So that's why they're so good. Now your player will have that. It might even have more in batting. I don't know. And I also have better pitching. And p so, and no, I won't run out of stamina. Let's play a few plays. Ready to Playing against the Houston Astros. All right, let's play ball. The starting. So I, I, before I'm not gonna give you my last name, but before I could never type my my first and last name in total on the game. Now that I can go into the files and do that, uh, so now I can do that if I want to ever play on my own time. Oh, that was a weak hit, but you see how high that's going. And look how fast I'm able to run, even on this sand. Oof. Let's keep playing until we uh, pitch to show show me not lose stamina. Ooh, this team's not dropping their balls. Take the stretch and the offering. I hope they didn't hurt themselves. So yeah, I, my my tutorial is just a quick tutorial showing you basically what that Reddit guys. I'm not trying to steal credit from him. He's the one who came showed me how to do it with that file. So all credit goes to him for finding this out. All right. So my guy's gonna be the pitcher now, full pitching and everything. Should be throwing some pretty accurate throws and never run out of stamina. Look at this juice bar and watch it not go down at all. See, it never went down at all. Ooh, my guy has full feeling. He still dropped it. <laughs> oh, that's not great. I mean, there's still errors in this game, so that's why, but... Hey, it's Dante again. So you'll never run out of stamina. But there is... You gotta read the thing, uh, the tutorial, how to do it. And there's certain things where where you can put it where you won't run out of juice at all. But if you do ZP on that stat, then you, you like run out of pitch doing, or like one of the power up pitches will take all your stamina away up instantly. Let's do one of our spitballs to confirm we don't lose any. See, nothing at all. Very nice. It's pretty cheap, but it's mods, so modding the game files, so what are you going to do about it? You guys going to be an OP monster. Alright, so now that you've seen him in action, the batting wasn't great, but you saw him in action, so that's how you do it. This is just a quick tutorial. I want to thank uh, the Majestic Yeti. This the link to this post will be in the description down below. Uh, so all thanks goes to the Majestic Yeti for figuring all this stuff out and posting it on Reddit. And now that was my special video. I've been talking about all season was 
to test this out and to show you guys how to do it yourselves. So I hope you all enjoyed that. If, if you want, go ahead and give it a shot. I'd recommend doing it on a new season and not like a current season you have just so you don't risk ruining it. That's another reason why I waited all season to, till now to do it. So uh, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload. This is probably my last video to do with Backyard Baseball at all. So yeah, there should be a link in the description as well uh, to link to my other Backyard Sports videos if you want to watch those. Once again, thanks again to the Majestic Yeti on the Backyard Baseball subreddit for figuring this out. This is awesome. Uh, I don't know if you can edit any other game, like any of the other Backyard Sports files like this other than Backyard Baseball 2001 and 2003, but I'll ask them if you can or if you can figure out a way to do it. Anyways, if you go on this page, let them re know you, I referred him to this post and uh, also give him a thanks for the, uh, for this because this is be pretty awesome. Anyways, I'll see y'all in my next video. Thanks for watching.